Okay, so I love when I make new discoveries because then I want to share it with people because this one kind of ate me up. So I was reading the rereading the book of Moses and after he experienced the burning bush, he went back to his wife. He told them they had to, told her he was leaving to go back to Egypt. They traveled. In my mind, like Holy Spirit was like, look up how long it took them to travel. So it had to be over 200 plus miles for him to get from where he was to Egypt. This man walked, and then when he got there, the fear was that he could have died approaching Pharaoh, right? So this man heard the Lord tell him to do something. He was obedient to the point that he had to walk 200 plus miles, plus he could have died. And we have our phones sitting in our bed, and God is asking us to share your testimony, share a scripture, share this. We barely want to do it in the comfort of our home. And in the Bible, I just feel like they was eating us up. Like, we could never... Their fear was real. They could have died for the things that God was asking them to do. Like Esther approaching the king. He either was going to spare her or she could have died. You're afraid that... Let me just not say you're. We're afraid that people may just talk about us. Like, they're going to talk about you regardless. If you're sharing a beauty secret, if you're talking about your favorite water, if you say you don't like french fries, I love french fries. But if you say you don't like something, they're going to eat you up in the comments. And who cares? It's not unto death. And... God would just make me realize, like, we are so fearful of man that it's hindering other people getting saved. Because, obviously, what Moses was going to do was going to free an entire population of people. Your testimony is going to help somebody. It's somebody somewhere going through the same thing that you're going through. The devil is a lie. We're not the only ones going through it, but he loves to make us think that. And I just wonder how much faster people would not only get saved but develop a beautiful relationship with christ if we would just be obedient and stop fearing man stop fearing posting stop fearing texting that friend and saying like hey god put this on my heart for you um and it be genuine and actually from god and so yeah that ate me up because i'm like in the bible when he asked them to do something their fear was real they could have died our fear, fears really aren't that real. Who cares if people talk about you? They've been talking forever. They will never stop talking. Don't let fear of man keep you from doing what God has called you to do. Because we are getting ate up by the stories in the Bible. They're outworking us. <laughs> and it's not a competition, but I'm just saying, like, you don't even want to pick up your phone in your bed. This man walked over 200 miles. In the desert, let's mind you, worse conditions. <laughs> like we have so much comfort, so much technology, so many things at our hand to advance the kingdom. And we're afraid of people who don't pay our bills. We gotta stop. And I'm gonna be first, so I'm posting this. But y'all, come on. Like, I don't know. It was it was good. When I was eating the word, I was like, Lord. We can't be out here a week like that. <laughs> so, post the thing. Say the thing. Send the friend the text. Share the testimony. Because man can't do nothing. They can't do nothing when God has called you. So, do the thing. Do the thing. <laughs>